Osborne is here making the perfect fall soup and sandwich, sandwich pairing for us today. Welcome back. Thank you. Season 10. Season 10. Come on. Season 10. So I love tomato soup, but I know you're going to change it up a little yes. bit. I know that. And oh. so what are we going to do first then? So first we're talking about flavor pairings. Yeah. And Whenever I ask people, like, do you want to get cooking more, they're always so concerned with how do you make things taste good together. And so it's really important to understand that when you're pairing flavors, it's about similar, not same, same. So you don't want tomato soup, tomato sandwich, tomato, 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 because it's just all one note and not very interesting. Mm -hmm. So you want to find similar herbs, similar, similar spices that are going to weave everything together. But it's also important to remember that it's not just about flavor pairings, it's also texture pairings as well. So you don't want mush on top of mush on top of mush, or you don't want things that you have to chew really, really hard because that's just not enjoyable. That's right. Okay, so you're doing a Tuscan turkey sandwich. Yes. What and makes it Tuscan? Well, what makes it Tuscan are the herbs. So we have yep. dried oregano and we have some thyme. Okay. But the thing about flavor pairing is where to start is finding a hero ingredient, something that you're going to work around. So in this one, we have our turkey. And so in doing everything, we're working to enhance the flavor and the texture of the turkey. So we have our bread. And again, we're enhancing the flavor and texture of the turkey, but we're also making the most of the ingredients themselves. So we have just you know, some bread, any bread will do. And we're gonna grill it on one side, the inside, you just wanna put it down. And as we're working on the rest of that, you're just gonna let that go because that's gonna increase the nice crisp on the inside with a cute little crunch. And then something that's leveled against some of these white meats, turkey being one of them, is that they can be really dry. So we're gonna make a really easy mash. It's just white beans, a little bit of olive oil. We have some lemon juice. And then we have maple syrup because turkey goes well with sweet things, but as opposed to doing with cranberry sauce like you normally see it, yeah. just a little bit of maple syrup will up the sweetness and again, work to enhance. That's, that's a great combo. We have some dried garlic, some salt, and then we just have, like I said, our Tuscan herbs, throw those in there. And then a little bit of dried oregano, and then we're just gonna mash. And this is a really loose, like, rustic spread, and it doesn't need to be perfect, but what it's meant to do is keep the turkey moist. Ah, I gotcha. Okay. Just mash in. Yeah. And with a fork, you can use a potato masher. You can use, like, whatever you want to get that mash vibe. I'll mash. Okay. Right, I'll mash. I'll mash. It should work. I gotta get it. Okay. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our bread which is nicely grilling. And you just want to check, you don't want it to get too crisp because again, it's about enhancing yeah. the texture. Yeah. You don't want it to be so crunchy that it like cuts the roof of your mouth. Right, yeah, that does happen. It does it? happen. Yeah. And yeah. then so once our bread is nice and grilled and moist, we're gonna bring it back over okay. here. Okay, bring it back. So then we're just gonna take our turkey and put it on one side, just like so. These beans are a little difficult to mash. Well, I gotta tell you, what's going on with these beans? Put some elbow grease in there. I know. You know what I'm saying? You try not to get yeah. your nice elf and messed up. But then there's no, no, the, no. The, really, they're tough. I don't know where we got these, but <laughs> spend a little bit more money. Okay. Okay. So, so there once, yeah, some so you have, you there's have some mash going. Right, right, and right. again, it's rustic, so you put it on that okay. side. Okay. Now you put what, what did you put? Butter or oil? So on there's that a little bit of oil in the pan. Okay. You can do a dry pan. You can do an oily pan. I mean, go. I'll leave that up to you. Okay. But yeah. So you see, it's kind yeah. of mashed. That's the idea. That is rustic and Perfect. textured. Perfect. It. Because if it's not enough texture, we're gonna get bored of our sandwich. Yeah. Yeah. So then we have our turkey, and then just the arugula. And arugula night gives you again a nice cute crunch. I like the crunch. And the pepperiness and the pepperiness, yeah, again because we have some sweetness in the beans we have the turkey and then we have a little bit of that peppery bite like that. All right, that's delish. and then I mean hello be as clean and tidy as you can yeah. be give it a little bit of a slice mm -hmm. there you have it boy that looks really good then like okay. be cute and do that with yeah Pre presentation oh, is everything okay maybe not be cute. okay that's cute so when we come <laughs> So good. So I see all these tomatoes. When we come back, Bianca will pair her Tuscan turkey sandwich with the perfect soup. You don't want to miss out. We'll be right back. That looks so good. <laughs>